Hello cellists! This is your video on note reading and we're also laying the foundation for techniques with the Schroeder, Alwyn Schroeder 170 Foundational Studies exercise number two. If you haven't already looked at exercise number one, it helps you with your open strings and is a great reminder of how to um, read rhythms. So number two deals with both open strings and now we've added first fingers. So you already know the names of these notes, right? A. So go one up from A. What is it? Right? And D, you already know, go one up from D, E. G, go one up from G is A. And then C, first finger here is D. So it takes a little bit of work, but we're going to be dealing just with a set of known variables. A, D, G, and C, which you already know, right? B, E, A, and D, which you're learning now. That's it. There's not going to be anything else in this exercise. Now I want you to say and play the names of the notes, which I know at first is awkward, but it will really help you to be able to internalize and just look right at the note and be able to hit it. We'll also do flashcards and some other exercise, but we really like you to be able to read music immediately and not use some mnemonic device to figure things out. We're playing the cello. It has to happen in real time and be immediate. So it starts off with half notes. We're going to use our metronomes again just to help especially with whole notes that you don't um, cut them too short. So I've got it at 112. Anywhere between 100 and 120 would be fine, depending on where your mastery is. And we're going to start by plucking, and then we'll add the bow. Here we go. Exercise number two. One, two, ready, go. A, B, B, A, A. So if that was too fast for you, right, you can always slow it down or even turn the metronome off altogether while you figure out a few measures. And um, it has a first finger over all the ones that are first fingers. It's a harder part for most students to learn to say the names of the notes as they put these fingers down. But then over time, you're going to get used to just saying, great, that's D, that's A. I know right where they are, right? And I know what they're called. So work on that. For those of you who have already got it down and want to use the bow, We'll go back, this is 112, exercise number two. One, two, ready, go. A Congratulations on being no readers. Happy practicing, Chalice.